Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a sanitization tunnel using Arduino in a very simple way. And at the end, the sanitization tunnel is going to look something like this. Okay guys, so let's first talk about what are the things we require to build this thing. So obviously the first thing is we need a pump so that it can pump out the water. So here I'm going to use this pump and uh, so this is, these pumps are mainly called agriculture based pumps because these pumps are mainly used in agriculture based projects. Now this is a 12 volt pump. Okay and uh, the thing is that if you see here there are two so this is actually input so from here uh, you it will you will insert the pipe and it will take the water in and then from this side this is going to uh, pump out the water so if you see here uh, so you will see an arrow here this arrow basically means that it's going to pump out the water from here now you can use different pumps also so this is the pump i got in market so i bought it but any pump will work but just make sure that your pump is enough powerful because for this project you need a, you need a very powerful pump okay so you need this kind of pump for this purpose those small pumps is not going to work so this is the first thing you need and if you see there are two wires this is a, a positive wire and a ground work so if you just connect this with 12 volt and this with ground it is going to work and it's going to uh, take the water from this side and it's going to pump out the water from this side so this is all about the pump okay now the second thing is to uh, give it power we need a power supply now here i'm going to use this power supply this is a 12 volt power supply and 5 ampere so you need a, a high current rating power supply because except that this pump is not going to work at least from at least 2 ampere is required but uh, 5 ampere will be good enough okay so uh, this is for this uh, pump actually uh, so depending on your pump so what are the current so what is the current required for your pump uh, you need to see the power supply okay so to if you see this power supply uh, there is this is the light so the uh, so from here you are going to give the ac input and from here you are going to the dc output so in this case the dc output is obviously 12 volts okay so there are two there are two positive nodes and there are two uh, negative like points here so you can just uh, you can just connect the wires here so the ac will go here and then the dc you will get the dc output 12 volts from here and then you can just give the power to your all the other things okay now these two things uh, now the thing is that we need to uh, control the whole thing now for this obviously i'm going to use arduino okay so here i'm going to use arduino nano because obviously the size is small but you can use any arduino you want okay now uh, obviously as we know this arduino can't control this 12 volt giant pump it is not possible for this arduino to control this thing so obviously we need a relay here now uh, this is how basically relay looks like so this is a four channel relay but we need a one channel relay for this application okay so what will happen that i will connect arduino with this relay and then this relay is going to turn on this pump okay so what will happen is if you see so from this 12 volt power supply we are going to give that 12 volt to that relay okay and then using arduino we will turn on the relay and the relay will give 12 volts to this pump okay so arduino is just turning on the relay using its 5 volt and then the relay is turning on this pipe using this 12 volts okay so again i will show you the circuit okay but the thing is that here we have uh, 12 volts and uh, as we know like here we also have arduino and uh, we also have this another thing we need is this pir sensor okay so here also you can use ultrasonic sensor but i am going because but i have tried and pir sensor is better than ultrasonic sensor in these applications i think at least okay so this is how a pir sensor looks like okay so so if you see in this pir sensor uh, basically if you see so you need to open this cover to see the pins so as you can see here so there is a ground pin output pin and vcc pin so it's you need to give five volts to the vcc uh, ground to the ground and from the output pin you are going to uh, you are going to connect your arduino with okay and then here you will have two knobs now using one knob you can control the sensitivity and using another knob you can control the time so time means that whenever it will detect a motion it is going to uh, it is going to make its output one for a certain time and then after the time it will again make it zero 
so you can change that time using this uh, time potentiometer and using that uh, sensitivity potentiometer you can control the sensitivity okay and uh, so this is the thing you need to know about this PIR sensor again we will talk about this in detail now these are the components you need okay now uh, you need some pipe so that you can connect your uh, pump to those nozzles okay so nozzle is basically this this is called a nozzle so as we know like in the sanitizer tunnel uh, it should create some kind of mist now these are called mist nozzles so basically it creates so if you give water from here with high pressure it is going to create mist so that's why called mist nozzle okay and uh, so you will connect these pipes to the power to this pump and then you need to connect the pipe to the nozzle but the thing is that the nozzle will not fit into the pipe that's why you need some joiners so these are called some this, this kind of joiners you will need okay so all the sizes depends on the size of your pump so depending on the diameter of your pump output you need to buy these pipes so this is a 6 mm pipe and depending on the pipe you need to buy these joiners so you need to connect in this way something like this and from here again one another pipe and in this place you are going to connect this nozzle something like this so water will come from here and it will like go out from there and from this place it's going to spray out it, spray out the sanitizer okay also you have this kind of uh, joiners okay for the end so at the end of the pipe you can connect it something like this so you will put it like this and then you are going to connect this nozzle something like this at the end okay so this is how it's going to work okay okay now another thing is uh, so yeah this is how it works now another uh, thing is that if you know in arduino uh, in this pis sensor you need to get five volts now again you can get the five volts from arduino too but i think the better way of doing this is also you need to power this relay with five volts you need to power this arduino with five volts you need to power this thing with five volts though arduino also support 12 volts but these two things need five volts now here i'm going to use this lm2596 ic now using this ic you can use using this circuit you can actually uh, this is a uh, yeah, you can uh, give a higher voltage input and it is going to convert that higher voltage into a lower voltage here is a potentiometer you can use that potentiometer to control the output voltage so i'm going to give it 12 volt input and i'm going to get out 5 volt from here and then i'm going to give that 5 volt to arduino to my relay and to my pir sensor okay so this is uh, all about this thing again i'm uh, again i'm just summarizing this so what is happening here you are getting power from it it is going to give 12 volt to this thing this thing is going to convert that to 5 volts i am going to give 5 volts to arduino this pis sensor and this relay again this 12 volt we are going to give it to relay uh, in this relay and then uh, our arduino will turn this relay on it is going to turn this pump on and how our arduino will know that someone is there inside uh, like below this that sanitizer tunnel using this PIS sensor whenever there will be someone the PIS sensor will detect it it will tell Arduino Arduino will turn on this relay relay will turn on this pump and then from this nozzle we are going to get the sprays so this is how it will work and now let me show you how I have implemented this in the tunnel okay now let's talk about the body so here I have used some water pipes as you can see to make this body so this is a very basic prototype I have made so using just some pipes and some like sockets to join those pipes now if you see this is the sensor i have put here now i have just 3d printed this enclosure for this sensor and also if you see i use some black tips over the sensor this is to make this directional if you don't use it black tips what will happen if someone is near the sanitizer tunnel it will also detect the motion so that's why i have used some black tips so that someone when someone will be exactly below that tunnel only then it will detect the motion okay now uh, I have used total 6 uh, this mist nozzles so here as you can see one there is another one uh, so there is another one there is another one and like there is another one and there is another one so total there are 6 nozzles so 4 in the sides and 2 in the top okay and I have used this pipe to just so to circulate the water and I have two lights also so that whenever uh, the water will it will spray it the light will also so glow okay now uh, from the sensor I have taken the wires from the pipe inside and then here inside this container where I have all my circuits so if you see here this is the circuit we have just dropped about 
so this is the power supply i am getting power from the wall adapter and uh, then inside this we have that lm2596 which will convert the 12 volts into 5 volts then we have gap uh, we have gave that 5 volts to the relay and to the arduino and we have also connected that pir sensor with the arduino and the arduino is connected to the relay which is turning on this pump and the pump is getting water from this small container now i know this but this is very small amount of water i am trying with but this is just for the prototype purpose you can put this pump in a big jar of sanitizer or something like that and it will work in the same way so it is taking water from here and then it is pumping out something like this to the whole sanitizer tunnel okay so this is how the whole thing is everything is working and if you see here it is getting the power from this wall adapter something like this okay so this is how it's working now let's talk a little bit about the circuit so if you know how relay arduino and this lm2596 these things work so you don't need to see this uh, see this part but if you don't know how these things work then you can just continue from okay so how we will connect it so first thing is uh, if you see here we are going to connect our ac line to these two uh, actually these two screws in our power supply okay so if you are using this kind of power supply and from here we will get 12 volts so if you are using any other kind of power supply which is giving 12 volts then it's fine so we are going to give the 12 volts to this uh, lm2596 and in the input port so if you see there is somewhere written input minus input plus so we are going to our 12 volt plus with input plus and 12 volt minus with ground with input minus and then from this side we are going to get a lower voltage and how to get 5 volts we are going to connect a multimeter with it and we are going to just we will just move this knob little bit and we will see how it is changing and from this way we are going to get 5 volts so whenever you will see we are getting 5 volts you just make it fix okay so you rotate it until you get 5 volts and then and then we are going to take out take the 5 volts from here and going to give that 5 volts to arduino v in pin and ground to the ground pin also from there you are also going to power this uh, this potential so this pir sensor so we are going to give that vcc 5 volts and ground ground okay then also we are going to give 5 volts to this relay board so there is a vcc and ground pin we are going to give 5 volts of vcc and ground to ground okay that's it that is all about the power now we are going to connect this output pin of this pir sensor to any of the digital pins in arduino let's say pin number two so we are going to connect the output pin of pir sensor to the pin number digital pin number two in arduino okay so that whenever it will detect some motion our arduino will let our will know about it okay then what will happen we are going to whenever it will detect some motion it have to notify this relay how will how it will do it we are going to connect any of the digital pins of arduino to the any of the input pins in this relay so it is a four chain relay but if you are using one chain relay in that case you will have a single input so you give uh, that digital pin so let's say digital pin 3 to that input pin okay so that whenever your digital pin will be high or low depending on that the relay will be turned on or off now finally how to connect the relay so in relay you will find there are two naturally connected uh, actually pins and uh, one is naturally disconnected okay so what happens whenever you turn on the relay it basically connects that those disconnected uh, pins so you have to connect your 12 volts you are getting from the power supply to one of those pins and then with another pin you are going to connect the positive uh, positive pin of your pump okay so with one pin of relay you connect your uh, input 12 volts and with another pin you are going to connect this red wire okay so the basically the positive wire this is pump and then whenever it will turn on the relay it is going to connect that 12 volts and the 12 volts of this pump like the input pin of this pump and then this pump will start pumping out okay so this is how you are going to connect all these devices so if you have uh, you don't if you don't have any basic idea about relays and arduino then you can watch my other videos i will make uh, this kind of basic videos very soon okay so this is how you will connect all these things then we can simply code our arduino i will show you how to code and then uh, our device will be ready to use okay guys so before we talk about the coding part i want to show you another thing which is about the pir sensor so in pir sensor like i said there are two pins one is, one is like two potentiometers 
one is the timing potentiometer and this is uh, sensitivity potentiometer so with the timing potentiometer what you can control is like uh, whenever it will detect some motion for how much time it is going to make this output pin one this is what you can control okay so if your value if you have uh, like set up very low value in the using the potentiometer then it is going to make the value output value one for a very small amount of time and if you increase the put if you just uh, increase the value using potentiometer the time will increase now sensitivity so sensitivity is this thing that basically so how much sensitive your sensor will be like uh, based on the like your motion okay so basically what happens that this PIR sensor basically detects the motion so you can uh, set this sensitivity level according to your needs so you need to just uh, you need to check this thing okay depending on your requirement you need to check this thing okay so this is the thing uh, I need to uh, say about this and also some potentiometers like most of the PIS sensor also uh, take 5 to 12 volts though I haven't checked this so I personally have used 5 volts with this but as most of the circuits have said that it supports 5 to 12 20 volts okay uh, yeah now let's talk about the coding part so this is the code okay so now if you look at the code there is the LED pin using this LED pin this LED pin basically means the pin connected with the relay okay and input pin is basically the pin which will be connected with the with the PIR sensor so from pin 2 it will get the input and from pin 3 it is going to uh, give the output to the relay okay and uh, if you see here what is happening in this whole code is basically whenever it is detecting the input pin as high it is making the so basically when it is detecting the PIR sensor is giving you one or it is high that means some motion has been detected in that case it is uh, making the relay turn on so basically it is turning the pump on and the spray will be on and whenever it is detecting that the PIR sensor is low the output of the PIR sensor is low in that is going to turn off the relay so basically it will going to turn off the uh, pump so this is the whole logic of this code there is nothing else so you can simply I, I'll uh, put the link of this code in the description so you can simply download that if you need it anyway and then you can simply just uh, put that code in your Arduino and uh, it will work just fine so I think this is all about this video uh, guys this video is a very simple prototype so that how you can make this kind of sanitizer tunnel easily so in future I'm also going to make this kind of video so for that please stay tuned to my channel and also in this video if you have any problem like how to use relay or how to use uh, PIS sensor if you need detailed video on these things you can also let me know in the comment section in that case I'll make those videos also so that's it guys about this video and uh, thank you very much for watching this video and also please subscribe to my channel for this kind of more videos and see you in the next time